All right, just making a quick video. This is the Vigor Pool Captain 1200. And uh, this is a unit that's definitely uh, worth taking a look at, especially if you're thinking about buying a mid-sized unit or even if you're looking at buying a larger unit. And uh, I'll talk about that more here in a second of why I say that. But yeah, just looking at the specs, uh, specs here real quick, 1200 watt inverter, 1280 watt hour battery, LFP battery. So the, let's just take a look at it, right? So um, obviously right off the bat, it's a very uh, distinctive and unique looking design. And, um, you know, when I first, first, when I first saw this unit, I wasn't too sure how I felt about it. But the more I've looked at it, I've kind of warmed up to the design, right? Because it's just got some character to it. And um, I like to <laughs> actually like that they have some little graphics on it and stuff like that. So, uh, and, and again, it's just, it's not just another box. And it's not just another cube, right? So, um, yeah, I applaud them for that. Uh, another thing I do like is the screen here. They've kind of, the, the, bar, the bars that kind of give a visual representation of how much battery is left, they've kind of added some, uh, some color to it, right? Some, some color variation to it. Just, again, give it a little bit of a character, some character to it, right? And then um, another thing I do like is the buttons that turn on all the features. They light up like this really nice ice blue color, right? So not just like the standard green or white that everyone else is using. So, um, so yeah, it's definitely just, um, and this, they actually refer to this design as like a scientific design, which I can, you know, I can kind of agree with that, right? It kind of almost looks like something you see in a laboratory. Um, it's definitely not something that has, you know, a real rugged look to it, right? So if, if you're in a camping and overlanding and stuff like that, it's probably not going to appeal to you. But, you know, just for having something around your house, it's uh, not a bad looking unit, right? And, uh, and lastly, the, uh, another really cool feature this thing has is actually on both sides here, you got this huge LED ambient light. And um, each side can be actually controlled independently. And they have like multiple brightness levels. And as you know, if you follow the channel, I love having these uh, lights on these power stations. For emergency use, it's obviously a great thing to have. But even just in general, right, sometimes you just want a little bit of uh, ambient light. A unit like this can deliver that, right? So, uh, yeah, let's just uh, keep uh, moving on here. So, it is an LFP lithium iron phosphate battery. Um, but, yeah, they need to fix this, right? <laughs> so, I don't know how they did that because look at this. They actually have it right. They actually have it spelled right down below. And then on the headline, they got it. So, <laughs> they need to fix that. I don't know how that happened. But, yeah, LFP battery. Let's just keep going. Uh, 1.5 hours to charge from the wall, right? So it's a it's a 1,280 watt hour battery, so it does charge um, around 800 watts from the wall, so it's not bad. Uh, let's just keep going. The parallel function. So this is the, this is the big feature, right? So this is um, something that you might actually uh, find quite interesting, is that if you get this parallel cable, you can hook up two units together. And then you basically double the inverter to 2,400 watts and double the battery's capacity as well because you're going to be pulling from both batteries. And, um, you know, if you're looking at a unit that has specs similar to this, you're going to be looking at a unit that's around 60 pounds, right? So um, the nice thing about having this parallel function is you actually can split that weight, right? You can pick up this unit and then you can pick up that unit, right? And these units weigh about 34 pounds each. So that's something that's, you know, most people can kind of manage that quite easily, right? And uh, definitely better than 60 pounds. But then there's also another benefit, right, that a lot of people don't talk about, is that if you're running like a small load off this inverter, remember this unit here on its own, 1,200 watt inverter, and then this one as well, right? So if you're running small loads, like two, 300 watts, it's going to be much better to run that off of a small 1,200 watt inverter, right, than something that has a big, big watt, uh, inverter like that, right? So um, the reason is, you know, generally the bigger the inverter, the more power that inverter is consuming, just, just powering itself, right? The inverter itself consumes power. And then, like I said, these units have, have actually been shown in uh, the testing I've seen so far to be very efficient 
just you know on its own but then you you magnify that by the fact that you could be powering smaller loads on a smaller inverter um, when you don't need to have a big load going right and you don't need to have the parallel thing hooked up right so yeah there's just like um, a lot of benefits to that to that feature and um, something you might want to consider and then it does have UPS right less than 10 milliseconds which is excellent um, basically nothing's gonna complain about that right if, if you have that power switch over nothing's gonna complain with less than 10 milliseconds scientific design there there we go and um, it does have this kind of a flat surface on it right but it's not like the whole the whole top right and um, actually if you look at it closely here in this picture here you can see the the handle does kind of ramp up there a little bit um, so like if you're setting like big boxes or something on top of it, it might not be like completely stable but um, yeah just something you should be aware of it is mostly a flat top but it's not completely flat uh, BMS, of course, um, it's got an app as well, and then, yeah, the solar, so the solar specs are okay, right, it's not good, it's not bad, so 400 watts, and they actually don't list it on this uh, listing, but it's actually 400 watts up to 56 volts, so yeah, enough you can run some uh, panels in series, or you can use some uh, larger, like, residential panels, but remember, you know, this whole, this whole product has kind of been ideally designed to be used with two units, right? So this is 400 watts each. So if you had two of these units, that's actually 800 watts, right? So that's actually not bad. So let's just get out of here and move down and see what else we got here. So um, yeah, another thing I did notice here, they list this at 110 volts, but actually all the testing I've seen this thing's actually outputting 120 volts, so they should just update that because a lot of people would, would, would rather see 120 volts, right? I mean, 110 is acceptable, but with 120, you just, you don't got to worry about voltage loss, you know, once the power leaves the unit, whatnot. It just, it should be closer to 120, and um, yeah, everything I've seen is this unit does actually provide 120, so yeah, just update that. Um, let's just move down. I think everything they have here is everything we already covered, right? So um, now they do sell this thing in bundles if you want it. Um, anytime you see a bundle with two units, it does include the parallel cable, right? But you don't have to, if you wanted to just start slow, you can just buy the single unit. And then if you wanted to upgrade over time, you can get that parallel cable, right? So yeah, let's just keep moving. Um, again, just covering the specs, everything we pretty much already went over. Um, they're just covering it again and again <laughs> and again. Yeah, so and again, right? And then, okay, and yeah, so they're just talking about the things that you can power. So just the one thing to remember, right, if you just have one unit, you just have a 1,200-watt uh, inverter, but if you... You know, if you get that other one, you can add them together, right? So with the parallel cable, you can pretty much power anything, right? Anything you can plug into a wall, microwave, so on and so forth. Yeah, so basically anything, right? Um, if you hook them together. And then, uh, yeah, like I said, they don't actually have the weight down here, which they should add, but it was about 34 pounds. So, yeah, it's a kind of a distinct... A unique product that's got some unique features and I think some features people would actually find handy and uh, and yeah so uh, hopefully someone finds this uh, helpful or interesting and uh, yeah thanks for watching